Hey Scorpios, Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for July 6th to the 7th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Scorpio. Next 48 hours for Scorpio, July 6th to the 7th of 2023 for Scorpio. Turmeric, uh, I always say that weird. Diversity, clothes, gossip, mandrake, and pass. I don't know if someone just came back from the dentist, but my jaw just felt weird. Like, like somebody got some work done on their mouth. Like. Like my chin, it was around my chin area. It just felt weird for a second. So I don't know if you just came back from the dentist or you got some work done or if it was braces or what. Come on y'all, please. Let me see if I can put it up. Yeah, I'll put it up here. And if it's not you, it's someone else, like someone's uh, jaw or mouth may hurt and it's in, I lost the words. But for no reason, basically. I was going to say inexplicably, like someone's jaw just hurts or their chin from gossiping or someone's jaw or chin just gets stiff. Someone's been, I just get someone's been running their mouth too much. Overall energy, uh, sugar, sweetness. Yeah, with diversity and gossip, I feel like you're trying to expand your, like, the conversations you have with a certain group. Yeah, you're just becoming very bored. You're very bored of gossiping. You're tired of it with impasse or impassive. Yeah, you're just bored of this gossip. You're tired of hearing the same old thing with diversity. You want to switch up the conversations that you're having or the things that you're watching or listening to. You're tired of the same old, same old stuff. Especially with sweetness, you want to, um, like... I was going to say you want to spice things up or you want to sweeten things up. You're tired of like the same old stuff. We're not going to keep talking about And then right behind that is bitterness. Yeah, you're not going to keep talking about the same person. Like, okay, yeah, he's this, she's that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, get over it. Let's move on. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting from you. Like, yes, we heard it. All right, it was cool like a week ago or a month ago or whatever. But I'm tired of talking about that same person. That's old. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about some anime. Let's talk about some cartoons. Let's talk about the new show, a new movie. Let's talk about, I don't know, meditation or something. That's what I'm getting from you. <laughs> I don't want to keep talking about that. Yeah, something's getting old. Let's get into the tarot. And then you're like, you're on a wave where you're like, what you focus on persist or manifest so you want to talk about like positive things with sweetness you want to add some sugar into the conversation so that you can attract more of that because I feel like the more you gossip with people the more bored or gray or dull or negative things become a sword's truth clarity the devil Capricorn yeah whatever you speak about it persists so someone's speaking negativity. The more they gossip, the more negativity they speak, the more manifest in their life. And don't allow others to um, like speak over your life as well. Like you can't control what other people say, but you can control what you listen to and who you sit around and who you, you know, like the energies you take in. If you constantly around somebody who always say something negative about you, then get it, stay away from them or limit your um, time with them as much as possible or tune them out when they're around. Focus on what you can control, which is you. Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you see how her hands are over her ears? Tune that right out. Overall energy is the moon, Cancer, or Pisces energy. Yeah, because like um, on a conscious level, you know that it's all BS. But on a subconscious level, if someone keeps repeating something or keeps talking about something, eventually it'll stick in your mind. You'll begin to believe it. Just like that saying where um, your mind can't like when you're negative self talking and um, you're doing it as a joke or sarcasm, your mind can't tell the difference. So if you're constantly calling yourself stupid and you're just doing it as a joke, eventually subconsciously you'll start to believe that you're stupid. 
Like your mind can't tell the difference. So you're slowly um, devaluing yourself or lowering your own self-confidence. And don't let somebody else do that. Because I don't know if you're, um, if it's critical self-talk or if you're allowing someone else to do this. But with the Ace of Swords and the Devil, yeah, someone is like literally manifesting negativity. Speaking it. With the devil, fear, addiction, enslavement. And then with the Knight of Cups, this person is like they want to come back or they want to apologize. Or it's like a love offer surrounding this Knight of Cups. It's the Nine of Swords and the Devil. So you've got someone around you. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Cancer or Pisces or someone who has these placements. It's like this person wants to apologize or they want forgiveness. Like um, you can forgive them, but you can love them from a distance. This person may be having, whether you know it or not, this person is having anxiety or dep they could be very depressed or having sleepless nights. With sweetness in the Knight of Cups, I don't deal with this person because they're trying to act like they're coming in peace. But behind that with the moon, subconsciously someone is in fear, someone is depressed, someone's codependent. And if this is you, you have to start listening to things that uplift you. And at first, it's going to feel fake. At first, it's going to feel corny. But after a week, after a couple weeks, after a month, it'll actually start to have a positive effect on you. Let's clarify. clarifying the ace of swords i almost said chloe that could be somebody's name seven of swords ace of swords yeah like someone is they know what they're doing someone knows what they're doing they do this to mess with your mind and they apologize and try to come off all sweet at first or they try to come back and apologize and then they start to do it again sowing these seeds of doubt they know what they're doing eight of pentacles this could be someone at work or someone who's trying to affect your work Someone could be trying to put down or criticize your work or saying that you don't work hard enough or they're trying to um, nitpick your routine. The truth is you have a great strategy when it comes to work and you work really hard with the Eight of Pentacles. That's hard work and craftsmanship, especially with the Seven of Swords. That's strategy. Someone may want to know your strategy. They're acting like they want help from you. They act like they're interested in your strategy because they want to be like you. And they probably do. But it's like they'll people have this thing where they'll nitpick something. And then when they feel like they have nitpicked you enough till you stop, they'll start doing that exact thing you nitpick because they don't want to do it while you're doing it because so, they don't want to like they're copying you. It's happened to me too many times. Like I've had someone, I had multiple people do this to me. Like they'll nitpick the crap out of something for like a week or two. And then they do the exact thing. And then they'll come to me and be like, yeah, look, I did the exact thing that they like criticized me for two weeks straight for. Because they don't want to do it when you're doing it. Or they're criticizing it low key because they're jealous. I feel like someone's doing something like that to you. They're like, why do you talk like that? Or why do you act like that? Or why do you do X, Y, Z only for them to turn around and do the exact thing. Like this has happened to me so many times. <laughs> Clarifying the devil, the 10 of swords. Yeah. The worst part of a situation is over. Some type of fear, addiction, enslavement, codependency, whatever this devil is for you, because it's going to be different for everyone. The worst part of that is over. It's like someone wants to prey upon your, um, your fears or perceived, what is it? Perceived insecurities or weaknesses in order to use it against you. They want to know your secrets or your strategies to use it against you. But I feel like them doing all this actually helps you overcome these things. Like they try to find your worst fears or addictions or whatever this is and use it against you. But they actually helped you overcome these things. Two of Swords. It no longer has an effect on you. When I cut the deck, I see the four cuts. Yeah, clarifying. And then this exact person wants to apologize now. Queen of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Knight of Swords. They're competing with you. They're trying to win at all costs. Like, this person is conniving. 
clarifying the nine of swords is the page of cups bread crumbing this could be family friend work or love in order to get a victory over you they really just want to mess with your head They're also obsessed with whether or not like the more you're winning financially or the more grounded you are, the like the more upset they become. Like someone is stressing over your success or public victory because the Six of Wands is public and its success is praise. It is clarifying the Nine of Swords. So someone is up late at night. I don't know if you have a social media platform or you have a website or something or there's some way, shape or form they can check on how you're doing on a platform or something, but like, even if it's just something little that you're winning at, like this person gets, they stay up at night to check this. They get more and more stressed about it. I feel like they also want to successfully mess with your mind. And when they feel like you start to do good or do better, they try to come back and apologize and be friends with you so that you can re-inflict this. Like someone's acting like they're your friend and they're not. Over RNG is temperance though which is great to see Sagittarius energy, which means that you're, none of this is going to affect you. None of this is going to bother you. All of this is being calmed down. You're over, ugh. you're going to overcome all of this with temperance as the overall energy. Because I feel like, yeah, with the, the devil, ten of swords, nine of swords, and the seven of swords, this is someone trying to like reprogram your mind. They're trying to use like the worst aspects that they can find about you and target those things against you. But the fact that you stayed grounded through all this or you're returning to a grounded space, like somebody thought they put an end to you and it, it irritates them that even you show a little bit of happiness, like Page of Cups, it stresses them out that you have a little bit of happiness. But I also see like someone tries to breadcrumb you after they get you to this state of stress, they try to breadcrumb you with this Page of Cups. But it's like with the moon and temperance, your subconscious is being tempered. You are being calmed down, ten of swords. The worst part of the situation is over. Like, stay the hell away from this person. This person clearly has mental issues. And I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to talk about anyone who has mental issues. Because we all deal with it at one point in our lives. But this person... They have no excuse. Just because you're suffering from something mentally doesn't give you the excuse to go take it out on someone else. Like this person, stay away from them. They're trying to make you feel how they feel. And even if they rattled you for a little bit, I see you coming, like you're calming down with temperance as the overall energy becoming very unbothered and unaffected by them. Like I said, they did all this and they actually helped you overcome all these things. So when they try to do it again, it just does not affect you anymore. Yeah, manifestation spells. Ooh, I actually like this. Card. Let me read what it says real quick because I think I know what it says. I think this card is about like because when you do spells, no matter what type of spell work, you have to give something to get something. So someone, whether it's actual spell work, like somebody has a cauldron or candle or whatever, or someone's just trying to mess with your mind, they it you always have to give something to get something. So when you do spell work of any kind, the universe or whoever you pray to takes something from you. So it, don't think like this person's doing all this and nothing's happening to them. Like, the more they try to do this to you, the crazier they become. The more they try to drive you crazy, the crazier they become. So, they're in like, Ace of Swords, they're manifesting that into them to their lives. So, if they lied, cheated, and stole, and betrayed you, it's happening to them. And I heard 10 times worse. That's why they're running back. Yeah, Homeland Foundation destroyed for them. You're good. You show up as the queen of pentacles, stable, grounded. You got temperance. You're fine. And then guidance, tarot cards. You may be pulling tarot cards or this person's trying to pull them, but they can't do it because their mind isn't sound. They're not grounded. So they may be coming to you to get readings. Overall energy is high priestess and high priest responsibility. Yeah, someone here definitely reads tarot. 
and you're really good at it. Oh, that's why that's messed up. This so this person did this so that you can't read for other people. They're trying to mess with your mind so that you you're not grounded so that you can't read properly for other people. But it it just you return to a calm space. And that's why they're trying to come back around to do this. They're trying to come in like they're really sweet or that they want your help or that they want to help you or that they mean well. And it, they try to come off sweet at first, but you can clearly tell they're coming back in just to disrupt and disorient you again. But with you showing up as the high priest or high priestess with guidance and you have a strong foundation, like they're trying to, yeah, they can't, they just can't. It's not going to work. Not with all these cards coming out. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.